Well, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm really glad that you could join me again. So this week coming up in the UK, we have quite a special event, which I'm sure you have heard all about. It is King Charles III's coronation this weekend. So to celebrate that and get into the spirit of it, I thought that I would make one of the official recipes for this event, which is the coronation quiche. Now at every coronation event, there is of course a special recipe that is created to celebrate so that people can join in in their own way, bake it and maybe host a lunch. And that is what King Charles has asked people to do this year. He wants people to participate in a big lunch on Monday, this Monday coming up. So the coronation quiche was created for that purpose so that everybody could join in together and have something nice. Now, I have to tell you that when it comes to cooking, I would say that pastry is one of my weak areas. I'm not really very good at making pies or pastries. So that is something that I would definitely like to improve. In fact, I'm thinking of attending a course in London in June, which is all about cakes and pastries because I'm just not very good at good at it and that's because I haven't really practiced. I find it quite difficult to make a proper pastry to roll it out without it looking a bit of a mess. So that is something that I want to really improve on but I thought that in the spirit of the coronation I would give this a go this time because it's a special occasion and if it doesn't turn out that well it's okay, it's just us here on YouTube having a bit of fun together. But I will tell you that I'm not going to be making proper pastry for this. I'm just gonna use a ready-made pastry. Make my life simple and easy. This is just a fun thing, so yeah. That's what I'm gonna do today and hopefully that will help this to turn out pretty well. Speaking of the coronation, in my last episode, lots of you commented to win the coronation china set. Stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll be announcing the winner of that. I was overwhelmed with the amount of comments that came through with that. I thought that it'd be popular because it is such a beautiful set. So thank you to everybody who commented. I really appreciate it. It was fun to read through all of them, even though there were a lot. I also noticed that there were quite a few, a lot of people emailed me about saying that they received a message to respond by telegram. This is an issue that I've been having on my channel for a while. Scammers trying to scam my beautiful audience, which is very irritating. I've raised the issue a few times, so hopefully we can get this sorted. But please be aware that with any competition, I will never, ever, ever ask you to contact me via Telegram. If you have won a prize, I will message you directly here on YouTube and ask you to send me an email and that is an official email address of mine that you can see it is never from through telegram which i've never used and i don't know how to use so please do be aware when you're participating in these things that there are scammers out there who are trying to scam you and steal your money and be very very careful please but yes i will be announcing the winner at the end of this video so i think we should start to Crack on with this coronation quiche and see how it turns out. I have to say that quiche is not really a huge, something that I'm hugely a fan of. I'm not really into them that much, but I thought that we should definitely try this one out together. So let's do it. Right, so. I've got my pastry all magically done because it's just from a pack. Super simple, all I had to do was put it into a tin, which makes life so much easier. Now I'm gonna move on to the next step. So I have to put in a jug. I've got some double cream here, which is going in to the jug. Some milk. And I'm going to put in two eggs. Oops. <laughs> I'm just going to add in some tarragon, some dried tarragon in there, and some salt. And I'm just going to whisk this together now. Yes, yeah, so 
I am quite looking forward to this coronation weekend. Uh, royal events are always something that I look forward to and you tend to feel a real boost of morale in the country when these royal events happen. Back in 2012 when William and Kate got married I was 21 and I remember the feeling here in the UK was just so happy. Um, it was a real joyous occasion, it was spring and then we had the Olympics here so it was and then the Diamond Jubilee so it was a real celebratory year and I'm hoping that that's what's going to happen again this time after the death of the Queen which was very sad. It's nice to think of new beginnings and I hope that it's going to be a successful reign for King Charles. I mean, he certainly had enough time to prepare for it. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to London this weekend because I'm going to the Coronation Concert on Sunday. So I'm going to go down on Saturday, stay in a hotel, and I think then I'll really be able to soak up the atmosphere of the Coronation because here in Scotland, I'm not really feeling it, if I'm honest. So I think going down to London, I've seen on Instagram and on photographs that they're really celebrating with decorations. And I think the vibe will be a lot more celebratory there. So I'm looking forward to going there and attending the concert, which is, I'm very, very lucky to be able to go to. That was through a lottery system. You had to apply online back in January if you wanted to attend the coronation and they just chose people at random and luckily I was one of them. So I'm gonna be going to that. I don't usually do concerts or crowds, but I just thought that this was a once in a lifetime chance. The next coronation that I'll see will probably be quite a while and I'll be a little bit older, so maybe I want to do that. So this, I thought, was a great chance to get to the concert and just put myself out and do something a little bit different. So I'm excited. So those are my plans for the coronation. I was gonna have my own garden party here at the house, but then when I found out that I'd won the tickets, I decided that I wouldn't do that because it would be making life too much stressful for me. So I'm just going to go to London and have as much fun as I can there. I'm excited. Okay, so moving on. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I've got some cooked spinach here. So I'm just going to put that into the bottom of our base. And to that, I've got some cannellini beans. Now you are supposed to use broad beans or soybeans, but I just couldn't find them anywhere in the local supermarket. So I'm not going to add that. I'm just going to use these beans. And these are actually more of my kind of bean. I love Kalanini beans. So I'm going to put those in. And then I'm going to put in some cheese, some grated cheese. And I'm just going to spread this around. I'm just going to do it with my hands. Yeah, that's quite mixed. And to get an evening scattering of spinach. So yes, now we have our spinach, bean and cheese in there. So now we're gonna pour over the milk cream liquid. Over here. Just so it covers everything. I'm just gonna add some more seasoning. Maybe grab some pepper. And I'm just going to add in some more dried tarragon over the top. And I think we'll get ready to put this in the oven and bake it. So hopefully this will turn out well. <laughs> So I guess that all that is left to do now is to taste it. I've got some tea. And I am excited to try this now. Because I did say that it sounded like it was gonna be a bit boring, so let's just taste. Mm. 
actually very good. The tarragon gives it a nice flavour. And I think because of the cheese and I love cannellini beans. So actually, it's quite a good quiche and I would highly recommend it. Much better than I was expecting. Sometimes it's the simple things. Mm. Really, really nice. Cheers. So if you would like to get the recipe for this, I'll post it on my blog, nicholasfairford.com for you there, where you can cook along and try it out for yourselves. And I would definitely say, do try it. It's really simple to make, doesn't take too long. You can pretty much throw it together quickly and you get a good result. I think it'd be perfect if you wanted to have a picnic or maybe sit outside, really good with a salad and a glass of wine. So something great for the coming summer months. Yeah, I like this. Well, that is all from me, but before I go, it is time to announce the winner of my giveaway from last week's episode to win a set of this Royal God Save the King China from Duchess China. So I have a very complicated system of picking a winner. I scroll through the comments at random with the mouse, let it go wild and then stop and pick someone. So the winner is Lisa Mack from Canada. So congratulations to you, Lisa. Thank you for watching the video and for commenting. And also thank you to absolutely everybody who entered the competition. If you didn't win this time, I do apologize, but there is another prize that you can win. Over on my Instagram account this Friday, I'll be announcing a very special competition in collaboration with the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in Edinburgh. Now, on my Instagram account this week, I have been hinting at what the prize may be, but this is the biggest giveaway that I've ever done. The prize is truly incredible and someone is gonna be very lucky to win that. So do head on over to my Instagram account to check that out. It will be announced on Friday what the actual prize is. So please do head along if you want to win an amazing prize. Congratulations to you, Lisa. I have commented here on YouTube what you need to do to claim the prize. So please do check that out and send me an email uh, and I will get this prize sent over to you. Well, thank you so much to you all for joining me. It's been a pleasure to be here and cook with you again. I think my quiche turned out pretty well and I'm definitely gonna start to improve upon my pastry skills because it's something that I really need to work on and I recognize that. So self-improvement is what I always uh, think we should do for ourselves. So that is something that I want to do this year. Let me know in the comments what you want to improve on. If there's something that you think you maybe need to polish up a little bit, I think it's always nice to hear your thoughts on those kinds of things. So do let me know. And if you're watching The Coronation this weekend, I hope that you enjoy it. I think it's gonna be a real fun, joyous occasion. So I'm excited, my very first coronation. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next time. But until then, take care.